and welcome to Let's Play Sakuna of Rice and Ruin. Alright, so right now it's the middle of winter, so we don't have to worry about the rice. But we did just unlock the boss area, so we should probably go take a look at that. We're probably not going to get through it today, because from what I remember, this area is actually really long. But we're at least going to try and make a dent out of it. Alright, before we go, though, I'm going to continue to have Murte go gather salt for me. I go now. Also, yeah, I figured out why we weren't getting animals from Kaimaru. Turns out we're just not far enough in the game to start unlocking more. So that's fun. But yeah, from now on, uh, Murte's probably just going to be going to the beach every day to get salt. Because salt? Kind of super useful in this game. That being said, if we're going to be using salt in the fertilizer, I am going to need to also make sure I gather plenty of water to counteract the whole it being super toxic to the soil. But it's fine. Fortunately, we're in the water area, so we should be getting plenty of water out of this too. Oh, that hit last hit. That second hit whiff. Darn it. Oh well. But yeah, we do have to be careful about salt. I don't know if they actually recently patched this. I remember reading something that said they would. At least on the PC and uh, PS4 version. But salt used to be... Well, it's kind of a cure-all, but the only problem with it... Also, this treasure up here, I think. Yep, there it is. The only problem with it is that it's, you know, toxic to the rice. And if you use too much of it, it actually goes into the soil and starts, like, affecting the soil, too. So that it actually starts hurting your rice after a while. I remember that used to be a big problem, but I think they fixed it. I'm not really sure. I guess we'll find out together. But yeah. Another issue with that is that if you use too much salt in your cooking, that would also affect the soil because it affects your poop. And poop is what we use to make fertilizer. I'm not sure if that's just a rumor or an actual mechanic, though. But from what I hear, your diet does actually affect your fertilizer. Well, either way, like I said, we'll figure it out together. Also, we have to beat all the enemies before we can move on. Oh, I didn't mean to knock them that way. Also, I should probably be using my other moves, too, but I don't know. Forward slash and the uh, knock forward is just way too powerful. Like, those are the two skills I pretty much use the entire game, plus one more we haven't unlocked yet. Just the ability to just quickly dash forward, kind of broken in a game that basically lets you, you know, grab things and fling them all over the place, and rewards you for doing that. Also, I guess I don't really need to fight all these enemies, but I kind of want their food. I found out, I kind of figured out recently that, uh, turns out we're kind of losing a ton of food from spoilage. Which, you know what, not a bad thing, to be honest. You don't actually need that much food to eat every day, but the more food you get, the more rotten food you can use in your fertilizer. Although, the more rotten food we need, the more salt we need. There is an alternative to using salt on everything, but we're not going to unlock that for a while. Well, no, technically we can do it right now. The only issue is that it involves going out at night. I guess right now we're kind of strong enough to, like, do at least the first couple of areas at night. As much as I love clam- or clams, fish, I would like water more than anything right now. Just the water to deal with the whole salt issue. There we go. Okay, we also got ice, which I don't think actually spoils ever. Like, I think ice lasts forever in this game. I don't remember if it ever actually melts. I don't think it does. Alright, so now I need to figure out where I'm actually going in this area. Because, yeah, that is one thing, like I said before. If they ever make a Sakuna 2, please add a mini-map. Or some kind of map. The one issue I have with the areas in this game is that they all kind of look very samey after a while. Like, it's kind of hard to navigate when everything is just gray rocks. I guess it's also in, like, the middle of winter, so everything's kind of gray. Usually the rule I go is just keep heading right and eventually you'll hit the exit, maybe. Also, this treasure somewhere around here. Uh, it's to the left. Yeah, it's to the left. It's starting to grow get stronger. I think it's up there. One second, I'm going to deal with these birds real quick. Gotcha. 
But yeah, I think it's right above me. Also, yeah, this is why I always keep this mask on. Even though technically the other masks are more useful, just the fact that I know there's treasure nearby, it's just like something I always use. Like, it's always helpful. I guess not in the boss area, but honestly, none of the masks are good in a boss area. Usually all the masks give you, like, gathering bonuses, which, when you're fighting a boss, kind of useless. Also, yeah, I need to start working on my defense a little bit. I guess our last rice, that, or, like, r last rice crop wasn't really the best. I was kind of hesitant on using, like, rotten food to boost my stats. Because the whole fact that we didn't really have anything to counteract it with. It still caused a lot of damage because of weeds, but you know what? Yeah, maybe this year we'll be a bit more lenient with our rice. I just want the staff at this point. Also, checkpoint. I think we're, what, halfway through the area now? I just want to make sure I unlock that. Oh, wait, one second. What were those objectives? Defeat yellow... Cl oh, mini boss. Okay. Yeah, being the mini boss is always an objective. It's a turtle. Oh, I see why you're called Yellow Claws now. It's because you have yellow claws. That makes sense. Anyway, Yellow Claws, kind of easy because he's a freaking turtle. Normally turtles are dangerous, but uh, he's kind of super slow. And he has the same weakness as every other turtle in the game. That being, if you flip him on his back, he's kind of useless. Also, he kind of left rocks all over his battlefield for some weird reason. And everyone knows that turtles are weak to rocks. Well, I guess not. He's probably a water type. Actually, he's probably a water rock type. Maybe that's why there are rocks everywhere. Please go into your shell so I can flip you. One second, let me get rid of these fish. They're kind of annoying. I think the fish have done more... Actually, I'm pretty sure I've done more damage to myself than he has. I screwed that up. I was going to try to knock the rock into him. Yeah, I'm pretty sure at this point these fish have done more damage than he has. Oh, I could have probably killed him there. Come on, go inside your shell. Go inside your shell. Oh, I just realized what time it is. Uh, please go inside your shell real quick so I can beat you before night falls. I don't want to face you. Okay, ow. I don't want to face you at night. Please go in your shell already. Okay, fine. We'll just keep beating you up with rocks then. I was going to try to make that fancy, but no. Also, I got some turtle meat. Nice. Actually, I think I've had plenty of turtle meat. Anyways, I think we're about halfway through the area, and it's about... Yeah, it's about hitting nighttime, so maybe we should head back. But then again... You want to know, we should probably head back. There's no way I can get through this area in the next, like, ten seconds. Also, did we ever... Oh yeah, we did go here. That's a gathering area. We should go there some other time. Alright, let's head home for now. Oh, I just remembered. That's a lot of salt. Oh my god, Merte. Nice. Oh, I just remembered something real quick, though. Uh, tomorrow's the last day of winter, so we're gonna need to start tilling the fields. One minute, I need to get some fertilizer made. Let's get the field fertilized so it doesn't die. But yes, next year, we're going all in with the rice. Alright, let's get some beast hooves, some manure, and some fallen leaves in there. And then we're just going to pay the fertilizer to be better. I'm still not exactly sure how Amber actually helps us at all, but... You know what? If I can pay my fertilizer to be super good, I'm going to give it the money. Uh, we can use a little bit more kernel. That's leaves, right? Actually, no, it's already 100%. Yeah, once it hits 100%, you can't increase it anymore. After that, the only way to increase this is with the uh, money. So, good enough. I'm not going to add anything to it yet, because we're not going to plant the rice until spring. Is there anything else we need to do before we head to bed? Nope. Let's go have dinner. Eat something? Let's see, what do we got here? 
We're probably not going to be fighting too much tomorrow because we're going to need to stay home and take care of the fields, but... So we're not going to waste anything important. Let's just have some wheat porridge, a nice acorn broth, growth to smelt, and I, I don't want to use shaved ice. Actually, what goes in the shaved ice? One minute. Ice. You know, you're supposed to put something on top of the ice to make it flavorful. We're just eating ice at this point. I don't need fire resistance, by the way, so I'm not going to bother. I make Can something? I make anything right now, too? Soup stock, oil. I do want to make oil, though, for my lamp. And since now we can get fish oil, it's not really that big of an issue. So let's, uh... Let's get a little bit of oil. That's good for if we want to go out at night. In fact, you know what? Now that we're strong enough, I think we can start exploring some of the local areas at night. So I think I'm going to do that tonight. Plus, it'll let us, you know, try out our new lantern. I give my gratitude for this meal. Not sure. But yeah, we're getting back to work. Screw it. I'm not going to bed right now. If I'm not going to explore in the morning, I'm going to explore at night. Alright, so where do I want to go then? I do need to be more enemies here at night, so let's do that. But yeah, the main reason you want to go out at night to fight is that enemies drop different things at night. Including some really good fertilizer components. Oh wait, one second. I don't think, yeah, I don't think gathering spots change though, because, you know, I don't think they care if it's nighttime or not. I, I doubt a rock will be better just because it's nighttime. Also, yeah, we're more than strong enough for this area. Okay, I found something good already. A Moonlight Stone. The one area I really want to farm at night, though, is the river area. Obviously, we're not doing that right now because we can barely get through that area during the day. But later in the game, once we're stronger, I'm going to probably farm that area at night for, uh... I think it's Aquilus... Mer what was it? Aquilus Essences? I don't remember the name off the top of my head. Either way, they're good for fertilizer because they can pretty much replace salt. We're getting plenty of Moonlit Stones out of this, though. Which is always good. Oh, also, I should probably turn on the lights. I kind of realized I've just been fighting in the dark this entire time for some reason. But yeah, now that we have a light source, we can actually see. Anyways, we've completed this area so we can get more rice during the day now, or when we re-harvest now. Alright, let's get out of here. But yeah, one thing I do like to farm at night, though, I don't know if we're strong enough to do it yet. Let me see if I can beat the, up the Black Shadow at night. Also, yeah, I want to keep an eye on my oil supply. If it runs out, we won't have light anymore. I'm pretty sure the light is literally only there for let you see. I don't think it affects enemies at all. Hmm. Maybe we should come back a little bit late. Oh, no, I think we can still take it on. Hit me. Thank you. Oh, my God. Uh, <laughs> okay, maybe we should go. Okay, maybe... Yeah, I'm not strong enough to take this guy. Well... I think I can probably take one more hit safely. Hmm. That kinda hurt. Yeah, as long as we're careful and don't get hit, we'll be fine. Because we can deal out the damage like crazy. We just can't really take it. I kinda went with the glass cannon build on accident. Ow. Okay, yeah, maybe we should go. Well. While we're here, we might as well try to finish it off. Nope, never mind. Okay, note to self. Let's, uh... Let's try this some other time. Maybe when we level up again. I'm going home. But yeah, I just got myself some Moonlight Stone. I forget what that does, though. Let me check. But yeah, it's the Aqua Stones I remember being pretty good. We'll see, I'll just work with whatever I have. Uh, where is it? What does this do again? Oh, right, yeah, this is why these materials are good. They give you a ton of negative toxicity, which counteracts, uh, salt. Alright. Oh, last time we also got some Eradicating Remedies. That'll help us if we ever get Blight again. I'm going to have to actually keep an eye on my rice this time instead of, you know, just letting it kind of just grow on its own. Although, to be fair, 
Last time, Talmon abandoned us in the middle of our rice season, so I couldn't actually take a look at my rice. It was his fault, not mine. Alright, time to, be to begin cultivation. Okay, the ice can go bad. Good to know. Oh, we just unlocked a new mechanic. I think this is the final mechanic, too. Yes. So yeah, now we actually have to begin sorting our rice. So this is something you have to do before you start planting. So, now we just pour in mud and try to sort it out a bit. Is that alright? Hmm. Also, you kinda got cut off there for a second. There we go. Okay, so basically how this works is, basically, the more mud you put, I think it's the more mud you put in, basically we're trying to sort the rice to see if we can get the best seeds out of it, so it's basically a trade-off between amount of rice and quality of rice. Honestly, I kind of tend just to go with quality anyways. But then again... I'm just gonna add all of the mud. Nope, just gonna keep adding mud. There we go. Alright, so we got mud in there now. So now we just mix it. So basically, we're ba uh, what is it? We're sorting out the bad seeds from the good ones. With the good ones, we can basically increase the quality of our rice. Actually, you know what? Maybe this time, let's try to get a really good quality of rice going. Thanks, game. Thanks for disconnecting my controller. What are... Th there we go. Yeah, I don't... I don't know what's happening anymore. But yeah, I think we're good. Let's see here. I can't see the paddle in the way. Okay, yeah, you know what? I think that's good. This is good enough. Did it sink a little? Not bad, so about half quality, but we also have less rice stocks to work with. So yeah, basically, it's a balance. The more you mix it, the better rice you'll get, but the less of it you'll get. Listen, we can plant babies in the field, okay? It's rice. Okay, this is also important. Basically, now we also need to decide if we want it to be thick or thin. Honestly, if we do it thick, we'll actually get more HP and we'll have more rice. It'll be worse, but at this point, defense is kind of the thing I'm looking for, which also kind of ties into more HP. So we're going to sew it thickly this time. I should have probably mixed it off a little bit more. Oh, well. But yeah, I'm going to try for a huge increase of HP this time. So we're going to try planting the rice a little bit differently than before. Also, hold on a second. Oh, one second. I need to unlock that skill. No, I need to unlock that skill. Thank you. Alright, so let me see here. Let's, uh, first things first, spread the fertilizer. Because you always want to fertilize before you till. And let's take care of the field. Time to till carefully and soften the nope. soil. <laughs> We're not finished tilling yet, game. Rocks are in the way. I shall just have to move them. Alright, so let's try to get as much of the field tilled as possible. Oh, hey, we're getting faster. Oh, wow, yeah, we're getting a lot faster at this. Nice. But yeah, this time I'm going to be trying for a more... A higher yield of rice rather than, you know, 
better quality rice, because I just want more HP at this point. We're taking a lot of damage right now. Fortunately, I think the HP way of planting is kind of similar to how I've been doing it anyways. It's just that we have to sell the rice a bit thickly this time. And I think we add more water. Because, yeah, usually we might stay around, like, 15 to 20 percent. I think if you want more rice uh, harvest, you'll want to go around, like, maybe 20 to 30 percent. Either way, we'll see. Honestly, it's not that huge of a deal. We'll just have to remember to try to get more water this time, whenever possible. After, like... Once it starts off shooting, I think. Oh, hey, that's a skill I've been looking for. So, Stone Crusher basically means we don't ever have to pick up uh, stones again. Now we can just, you know, break them with our hoe, which is probably terrible for the hoe, but you know what? Whatever. We can make another hoe, right? It's made out of wood, it's fine. All right, we good? I think we're... Wait, no. One second. You tried to hide from me, Rock. Okay, fine. I'll pick you up. Oh, there was another rock hidden underneath it. Okay, did I get all the rocks this time? One second. The rocks are being very sneaky this year. I think I got them all. Okay, yeah, I think we're done. How'd we do? Mm-hmm. This looks good. Mm, could have used a little bit more tilling, but overall, not bad. Alright, but with that, uh, we're kind of done with the field, so... I guess tomorrow we'll plant the rice. I'm not going to bother using fertilizer yet. I want to get the rice in before I start fertilizing. Otherwise, I think if we make good fertilizer, it'll go to waste, and we don't want that. So, shall we go? Actually, we only have, like, half a day to work with. Maybe we should go explore, like, maybe we should go do a little bit of gathering. Oh, speaking of gathering, Murte, you're up. I go now. Off to the beach. Let's, uh, see if we can do a little bit of gathering at the falls. We'll head back to the boss area after we planted the rice. more fish. I guess we can get some more ice. It's a shame when ice rots, it actually turns into rotten food and not, you know, water. Apparently when rice or ice rots, it rots really badly. Alright, let's go home now. We'll have a little bit of dinner and then probably call it an episode there. And then next time we'll actually get the rice made. Back. And by made, I mean planted. Also, I kind of want to see if I can make any new, uh, clothing with the stuff we've gotten so far. We'll see. Okay, yeah, the, uh, soil is good now. I think it's fine. The entire triangle is filled up. Eat something? What are we having tomorrow? Millet, acorn broth, and sweet fish. Perfect! Time to eat! Mm. This is not good. Mm -hmm. No Very one likes fucked Hill Millet. Which, you know what? Fair. Alright. Anyways, rice is ready. But we're gonna do that next time. So, next time on Let's Play Sakuna of Rice and Ruin, we're getting in our new rice in the field. And then after that, we'll head back to the boss, I swear. So, till then.